Well, everybody, uh, I have been asked uh, by many people to react to Red Letter Media's video uh, about death metal. Um, <laughs> this video got released yesterday, and a ton of people asked me, Joel, what do you think about it? Or, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on it? Well, I can say this. I, I, I heard about this video, and I thought it'd be pretty funny to have uh, Mike and Rich uh, react to it, or rather uh, talk about it. But, uh, you know, a lot of people asked my <laughs> my uh, opinion on it or whatever. Now, uh, big, big big footnote here. I am a huge Red Letter Media fan. You know, Vinny, review, uh, Vinny interviewed, uh, I think it was Rich many, many years ago. Uh, so, you know, bo both me and Vinny, we love Red Letter Media. And, uh, you know, first of all, I'll say this. Uh, no matter what this video is, uh, I don't think any metalhead on the planet is going to be angry or offended. Uh, metalheads, contrary to belief, is often like some of the nicest people you ever come across. Um, we're just big nerds that like comic books and horror movies and you know stuff like that. And a lot of the uh, you know the the crazy aspect of it, it's just people having fun. Uh, so, uh, if you ever go to a death metal show or if you go to a heavy metal show, you'll, you'll quickly realize how nice people are. Uh, I'll give you an example of that, um, you know, if you're in a, like a big thrash metal mosh pit or something like that, and somebody drops their phone, uh, everybody just squares off and it's like, oh, you dropped your phone and they'll help you out, you know? Um, so there, there, there's a real sense of, I don't know, uh, togetherness in this little niche sub genre of music, um, and uh, I think I think everybody is having a big laugh about this because essentially what it is is fr from what I, my understanding is uh, Mike and Rich is um, going over a list of bands and uh, it's not their kind of music. So I, I think some of the uh, some of the explicit names or the albums or whatever it is uh, might just be them scratching their heads like what what is this you know. But uh, hopefully I can shed some light or, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, some of my own input in whatever this video is. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Someone said, this got personal. Uh, I, I don't think it's, it's personal. It's more so having a very, because uh, I have a big keen interest in, in, into this kind of music. And because it is a sort of obscure form of music that is very abrasive and, you know, and having somebody like take a look at it that isn't, doesn't know anything about it, uh, it's interesting, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, but let's check this video out and <laughs> see what it's all about. But yeah, I, I, again, I want to reiterate, I'm a huge fan of Red Letter Media. I love death metal. I love all kinds of various sub metal genres and stuff like that but uh, it's probably going to be a very very entertaining video so you know let's uh <laughs> let's check it out i guess uh all right here we go hello and welcome to a very special episode of something rich evans does not know what this episode is going to be about i am very confused he's very nervous mike's put a a, a corpse head down here i love i love the uh what's his name the, the banana phone guy it's no baloney. Uh, I forget what his name is, but it used to be a lot of YouTube. Rafi, yes, that's his name. Yes, yes. There used to be a lot of YouTube poop videos in the early days of YouTube that uh, <laughs> used banana phones. So it always makes me nostalgic to, to be reminded of that. And I'm wearing all black. So today we're going to be talking about death metal. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, wrong from the get-go. I can already tell from the feedback, this is not death metal, this is hardcore music. Okay, the death metal doesn't sound that way. But, you know, I'll, I'll shut up here and I'll let Mike and Rich talk about this. <laughs> death metal, you know. Mike and Rich, they're like 100 years old now. This whole video is gonna feel like um, your parents going through your like CD collection. And I'm saying, like, is this safe for my child to go to this heavy metal concert? Because these albums sound really crazy, you know? It's going to be like your mom thinking every Pokemon is Pikachu, isn't it? <laughs> I was on the internet. 
Uh-huh. And I noticed this last weekend was the Milwaukee Metal Fest. Good show. At the Rave Eagles Club, <laughs> a, a trashy venue that has obnoxious trash bands. Uh-huh. Wouldn't it be funny if, if uh, Rich over here is like a se secret metalhead? Like, he knows a lot of this stuff. And he's just going along with uh, Mike taunting him, you know. Um, because I, I, here's the thing, here's the thing. Death Metal doesn't have that, like, wild uh, aspect to it like it used to have. Like, it, it's pretty common in, in the cultural osmosis. Like, you know, you, you take a band like Cannibal Corpse, for example. Cannibal Corpse was in Ace Ventura. And, you know, it's just, it's just everybody kind of knows what it is. Well, except the Simpsons who called Judas Priest death, death metal. metal. But that's another story, but let's keep going. Swedes love death metal. I saw the advertisements for the Milwaukee Metal Fest, and I didn't go to it. I saw an advertisement. Should have. And guess what? It was black. Okay, looking at this lineup right now, these are pretty old bands. Okay, uh, like Anthrax was forming like 1982 or something. I, I forget what it is. Biohazard, Dark Angel, Napalm Death, Suicidal Tennessees. Like a lot of these bands is is pretty pretty well known. Lamb of God, like you know. But 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 please, I'll stop pausing the video with white letters. <laughs> you want something that stands out against the black background, Mike? Well, sure, <laughs> but um, and uh, uh, there was probably about a uh, uh, hundred metal bands on this roster. It was, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be pedantic here, and obviously we're getting in, into the, the sort of micro sub genre thing where we're talking about all these different bands, but I, I can see right now, um, uh, not not everything here is is metal. Um, th there's a lot of like some hardcore bands on here and stuff like that so i i i don't know but uh, sorry it's a three day affair and once i got to reading the names of all the metal bands i laughed and so i thought <laughs> i would share them with you okay As now you. i understand now i fully comprehend the purpose <laughs> that i have been brought here today right uh, yes yeah. <laughs> and I, I did a deeper dive into metal bands and when i say mm. metal i'm not talking about your Metallica or ACDC. <laughs> calling calling ACDC metal uh, is 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 great. It's great, it's wonderful. Or the presidents of the United States of America, or or bands like that. I'm talking about hardcore death metal, sometimes mm. referred to as black metal. Not I I just heard you know that Star Wars quote. Uh, you know, I, I feel a disturbance in the force. A billion rivets in a bunch of metalheads' heads just popped. Okay. Now, now I understand <laughs> from an outsider perspective, it's all a bunch of screaming and, and noise. But the thing is, I'll put it in red letter media terms, okay? Maybe one of these days, Mike and Rich uh, will see this, but I'll put it in simple terms. Calling black metal and death metal synonymous with each other is like saying Star Trek and Star Wars is the same thing. Well, it's both science fiction. Surely it must be the same, right? <laughs> but I understand. I understand. I understand. It, it's it's both very abrasive forms of music, and I can get into the technical details. What really defines that kind of sound and that kind of sound? Uh, in fact, you know, why why don't we just on, on a side note bring these two genres up so people will get an understanding of it? Uh, I'm sure most people in chat here knows what defines death metal and black metal, but. If you don't know what it is, um, you know, I, I can say this. Death metal, um, you know, evolved from thrash metal, which is kind of a genre that came out of, you know, heavy metal and speed metal. It was uh, thrash metal originated in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and it was just a f faster form of heavy metal, right? But eventually that, that sort of art form was pushed to the extreme to the point where, you know, the singing was replaced more with growling and screaming and shouting and stuff like that. Not that 
thrash metal is devoid of that but it was more a prominent thing and the lyrical aspects became more about like horror movie stuff and you know zombie stuff and blood and stuff like that so death metal um i would say more prominent in the late 80s now black metal uh is more so a sort of offshoot from death metal where it was intentionally recorded sort of lo-fi it was uh, a bit more more simple in terms of structure but the music is presented as very cold and the lyrics are often very like you know it's about you know frost and and it came from scandinavia you know norway and sweden you know we there was the first wave of black metal there was the second wave of black metal and i'll, I'll say this uh, i'll bring up two examples of of death and black metal if anyone is interested uh, I don't want to sound like a, like a like a professor in these things, but, you know, I, I feel like, if anything, I'm, I'm qualified to talk about this because I do listen to a lot of this stuff. But I, I can bring this up. I can bring up some random bands. Uh, you know, the, the, these are not necessarily like the most uh, representative of each genre here, but um, I can just bring some stuff up. Very boilerplate sort of black metal sounds like this. Uh, There's a band called Gallows. Um, and I'll just give you an example so you know what this sounds like, you know. It's very, very cold kind of sound. It's very tremolo picked. You know, it's, it's very much that. So, you know, there we go. Just a random example. I have a playlist of various bands I listen to. It's very cool kind of sound. Um, you know, mid 90s kind of rose to you know and there's a lot of history involved with black metal and again i don't want to sound like an encyclopedia here but if anything i'm kind of like jay bauman whereas jay bauman's uh, knowledge of horror movies and his you know i feel that metal is my expertise in a way you know so it, it ties into that but whatever uh, as i said black metal also has a history of, of various things uh, you know very you know infamous things uh, in Sweden, there was a lot of church burnings in the 90s, and I, I can basically equate it to this. Uh, some kids took it too far, uh, and I'll, I'll say this as a caveat. Uh, metal is supposed to be fun. Uh, metal is just a, 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 a fun thing that is, you know, a, a subgenre of music that people seek out, and there's a real sort of uh, togetherness about it. But some people, you know, especially in the early days, took it a little too seriously. And there was a lot of stuff involved into that. But that aside, blah, 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 blah. Uh, black metal today is very galvanized. People know what it is, you know. And death metal, on the other hand, I'm just going to give you two examples. Again, I was playing this band, you know. Black metal, right? Now, death metal, on the, on the hand, ha has got a more chug to it. It's more guttural. It's more beefy and it, it doesn't have that sort of cold ambience to it uh one of my favorite bands in the death metal genre is a uh band that was very inspired by a band called bolt thrower now bolt thrower is a band that took lyrical um uh, inspiration from the uh, games workshop games like warhammer 40k and their first album um in battle there's no law like people know that album but people really should be checking out um both of them were put on an album called Realm of Chaos, and as you can see, it, it's straight up Warhammer. And I, as I want to say, it really has that air of, these guys are just nerds. These are just, you know, tabletop fans that, you know, but it's it's a great album. It's a great album. But both of them aside, I want to show you uh, a band called Warmaster was inspired by both of them. Uh, it's one of my favorite albums in the death metal genre. And it is uh, an album called Pyramid of the Necropolis. And uh, how great isn't that, right? Look how great that is. But again, black metal. In contrast with death metal. You get it. But it, to somebody who doesn't care or whatever they, I, I don't think it matters that much um but i just want to set the record straight for anybody out there who is lost in these two genres like well is it the same thing um you know and, and again i make the analogy that 
I mean, you could call it all metal, but uh, there's so many subgenres that I think is important to this whole thing. Uh, because if you were to compare a death metal band that sounds like this, you know, and then you compare to a band that plays power metal like Rhapsody of Fire. Could you really call it the same form of music? I mean... I mean, it's all a matter of perspective, I suppose, but 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 for me, I feel a lot of metal fans point out, you know, oh, you're not calling it this genre or this genre. I think the, the, the main form of genres is important because you really do need to separate these, you know. Um, but what do I know, right? I'm, I'm sorry for the the anecdotal sort of pause here, and I'm focusing on on Mike's face here, and he's as he's just looking at me with contempt. But let's keep watching. Now this is the the toughest, hardest, fastest metal around. Mostly these bands come from like Nordic countries, like Sweden, the Netherlands, Finland. <laughs> Well, he's right. I feel it. now it's now it's a little more personal. <laughs> Places like that, uh, uh, some from the U.S., but mostly like countries like that, and and they wear all black and and they go <laughs> and they do the thing called growl screaming, right? Mike, You're... I've I've seen uh, Metalocalypse. What's that? I wonder how many people got into metal because of Metalocalypse, which, by the way, has a. I think they, they're on tour right now, you know, Brandon Small, and, uh, you know, I think there's a new album coming or whatever, but I think a lot of people um, got into metal through, uh, you know, Death Clock or Metalocalypse, and I, I think it's a really funny show, but uh, somebody pointed out, he said Netherlands was a Nordic country. Uh, he's, he's from Wisconsin, he's from Minnesota, I don't know, you know, <laughs> Americans. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, it's a cartoon show about a death metal band. Okay, so I don't have to explain all this to you. Yeah, But yeah. They, they go, their singing is... Yes. You know, and it's just like, it's just like, it's not my, my thing. It's not my <laughs> thing. It's, it's a lot of people's cup of tea, but it's not mine. Yeah. And they like to go and they like to thrash around and there's some really, like, uh, I, I would say disturbing themes. This, this does really feel... This does really feel like two parents that found their child's, like, CD collection. Well, I would say not so much Rich, but I feel Mike feels like someone is talking about these things. Like, they have never heard about these things in their entire lives. It, it, it's fantastic. I, I'm here for it. Associated with this type of music. I don't want to get into it, but it's, uh, it's not pleasant. It's not the Fab Four. <laughs> Which is ironic, because the Beatles invented heavy metal. I know that's a bit of a hot take, but I, I, I fully believe that Helter Skelter might be the first heavy metal song. Because it has that sort of BAM, BOM, BOM, and it has, uh, you know, really screen vocals. Now, I'm not going to call it like straight up metal, but I'm going to say the, 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 the sort of DNA, DNA foundations are really found within that song. You know, you can make the argument that like, you know, bands like Cream and, you know, Hendrix influenced more heavy metal, but I'm, I'm gonna say that because I believe Helter Skelter was made as sort of like a like a piss take because The Who uh, made a song and they, they refer to it as the heaviest song ever recorded and the Beatles sort of, in a way, shot this song off to say, no, 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 we are the kings of this. So, uh, I, I, I don't know if that story is true or not, but, uh, you know, you can definitely hear that in because I mean there might be there might be some you know ape out there that's never heard the Beatles uh, there might be a fish out there in the sea or there might be uh, <laughs> you know but if, you, if you've never heard Helter Skelter you know you have to remember this is from like 1968 you know hearing that sort of groove with bam you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make outrageous claims like that too often, but but I, I do believe that there's some there's some proof in the pudding that the Beatles uh invented a lot of contemporary music that we listen to today, you know. It's a little harder than that. <laughs> um but 
one thing they all have in common is an utter so i'm sorry, ignoring iron butterfly true slayer actually covered uh, in agata da vida but i'm saying in, in in the realms of beatles in, in terms of popularity because while people listen to iron butterfly i think the beatles made a more of a impact on the the splash of music you know their lack of creativity when creating their band names and let's just say a dictionary or two were opened up when coming up with some of these names. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's, let's first start with the lineup from the Milwaukee Metal Fest. Now, mm -hmm. some of the headliners that were in bolder, larger print, you may, have, you may be familiar with. Uh -huh. Okay. Lamb of God, Anthrax, Machine Head. All these, all these bands are pretty well known, I would say, but let's keep going. Suicidal Tendencies, Fear Factory, The Black Dahlia Murder, Corrosion mm. of Conformity. I feel I feel like Corrosion of Conformity, especially in the 90s, with the whole grunge thing going on, I, I think, especially with MTV, like, I, I think most people know that band. I mean, th some of these are really old bands, too. I mean, I mean, Lamb of God is the most recent. Oh, no, I think The Black Dahlia Murder, actually. But they're all different genres and everything, but whatever. Midnight. I saw Midnight in Germany. Midnight is one of the, the, the most fun bands I've ever seen. Because Midnight has such a fantastical attitude. I'll tell you a story about it. We saw Midnight, and there's a guy throwing a beer can on stage. And instead of acting like a prima donna, like Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses, you know what the singer of Midnight does? Goes up to the microphone, goes, throw more beer, throw more beer at us, we suck. So people started shucking beer cans at him, like, more, more. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on top of that, um, at the end of the show, the I think it was the bass player or the guitarist, which is also the singer, or actually the singer is the bass player too. Uh, I think it was the guitarist. He rips off the strings off the guitar and just dives into the crowd. So fantastic. I highly recommend Midnight. Very fun band. Napalm death after the burial obituary. Should, should I go into the details of each band mentioned? Because I, I have such an extensive nerdy knowledge of all this stuff. Yes, you sure? Okay, fine. Obituary. That's yeah, that's, 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 that's simple. That's Obituary was one of the uh, one of the very first death metal bands. Simple and to the point. Now there's a couple of in the in this list that we actually have horror B movies that share the same title. Oh, that is the one of them probably inspired the other. Yes. And and a lot of titles are 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 newly created words, compound mm -hmm. words that combine <laughs> some kind of horror related word. With something else, and we'll get right. to those. Right, right, right. Dying Fetus. Okay, Dying Fetus is a band from Maryland. There, there, there's a hysterical music video on YouTube we can find where the tour van for Dying Fetus has broken down and they're in the middle of a trash yard. And uh, <laughs> the, the impromptu has filmed a music video for it. And uh, at the very end of the video, they show up like a trash compactor or like a trash bin that says metal on it. And this thing goes, fucking metal. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> the Dying Fetus is, is um, like it, 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 pretty extreme name, but very, very talented people that, that play in this band. Uh, I mean, all these all these bands are, are, are very, very talented, but, uh, you know, but it, it is a brutal form of death metal that might not be everybody's cup of tea but but uh, yes uh, i wouldn't call them a christian band necessarily it was my mom's favorite band <laughs> shadows fall i believe shadows fall is from boston massachusetts uh i think they were formed in mid 90s and i know that uh they were kind of early on that modern metalcore sound that is very popular these days. I think some former members in that band went on to play in All That Remains. And I'll tell you a funny story about All That All That Remains. Uh, the band uh, ha had a singer that actually went to jail for trying to uh, murder his wife. Uh, <laughs> and he also has a side project where he sings about Arnold. Uh, <laughs> That's a that's a story, but 
terror. Terror. Are you talking about the hardcore band? Because there is like 15,000 bands with the word terror. <laughs> I, love, I love Mike's face. Okay. Okay. You know, this that's pretty standard stuff. Biohazard. Biohazard. Uh, they're from Brooklyn and all that. And they, they're they not metal. They are a hardcore band. Um, someone said Resident Evil Biohazard. Uh, now, if you listen to the Cro-Mags or Agnostic Front, you know Biohazard. But Biohazard introduced like rap into some of their songs. And not that Biohazard is ever rap metal or new metal or anything like that. But I think some of the influences from that sound later mutated into Limp Biscuit and Korn and, and all those kind of bands. Uh, but uh, Biohazard is an all right band, but I would not call them metal. Uh, but hey. <laughs> Crowbar. Crowbar invented a subgenre of metal called sludge metal. Uh, and sludge metal is like this this wall of shit coming your way and it's playing played at a very very low tempo uh i think they're from new orleans or orleans orleans uh they were part of a scene that had many other bands playing in it i know there's another band from new orleans called acid bath and i think acid bath has a album by john wayne gacy on it um I wonder how many serial killers is going to come up in this video. I, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> so what do you think of when you think of crowbar? I, 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 I think of... someone's a, head in. Uh, yeah, I think of a mugging. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's definitely a violent act. Right, not 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 usually car repair yeah, or, no. or a construction. But, however, when I think of biohazard, I think of that old comedy central show, BattleBots. I don't intend on pausing on such funny juxtaposition, but it just happens. <laughs> goat whore. Uh, goat whore uh, is, is an interesting band. They, they, they play a multitude of genres. But I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. Goat whore actually um, was part of the soundtrack for the Splatterhouse remake on the 360. I think it was also on the PlayStation 3. Uh, that, 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 whole, that whole game had a bunch of um, metal on it. But uh, yeah... I, uh, I've listened to Goat Whore. Um, I think actually some members played with, with Acid Bath. I think. I, I don't remember, but uh, is it worth playing? Uh, I didn't play it, actually. I did not play it. Goat Whore responded to the video. What did they say? What did they say? That's pretty funny. Uh, Goat Whore's guitar player Sammy from Acid Bath. Well, there we go. Small world. Look at that. Uh... Meh. The game is good. Splatterhouse is good. They offer to send them t-shirts. That's what I mean, man. That's what I mean. I don't think anybody on the planet is, is angry over this. I think, generally, with this whole video, I think the bands mentioned in this video is going to get a kick out of it. Because this music is so extreme that it's a word of mouth. You know, like, oh, what's that band? I'll check that band out. They, they sound pretty cool. Uh, so I think if anything, this is just uh, just a, a silly video where you know bands are like, oh, they mentioned us, you know. So I, I yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's bad at all, you know. I, I, I would be surprised if some of these bands aren't fans of Red Letter Media themselves. So I, I don't know. <laughs> one of my favorites. But that is a one-word name, Goat Horror. <laughs> there's no, there's no hyphen. No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Hyphens don't exist in these names. Now, now, I'm assuming, based on the fact that you can read these, they're not in the actual, like, album cover <laughs> death metal font. No, I printed <laughs> out a, font, a, a uh, list in English. Right. <laughs> uh, Immolation. Immolation is a band from Yonkers in New York City. And I used to remember that so well because Yonkers is the most bonkers name for a place ever. Um, if you guys are familiar with the band uh, Mortician, sometimes like we joke about Mortician on the stream, but they're also from Yonkers. Um, <laughs> but Immolation is great. Immolation is great. I, I, li I like Immolation. They have an album called Dawn of Possession. Uh, they also have an album called Here and After. There's a song out there called Nailed Gold that I recommend. 
Uh, maybe I should just like shout out some recommendations, but uh, yeah, Immolation, I think they were formed in like 91, I, I don't remember. Uh, no, I think it's earlier than that. They, they were really part of an early death metal scene too, like this, they're one of the foundations. From 1989, yes, okay. What's the definition of Immolation? Is it... It's like the puncher a bunch of holes in somebody? No, no, Immolation is, is being set up blaze. Uh, that is the technical term, you know. Uh, I, I think, it, in fact, you are setting yourself on fire. Uh, or somebody. I, I, I don't know the technical term myself, but I, I do know it. It involves fire. It is... It is uh, it, immolation is being rendered to ash. That is the technical term, yes. I think... Okay. Well, we'll put it up on the screen. What is the type? What is the definition of immolation? Ah, there we go. I don't know right now. I know it's a violent act. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it has to do with death and or destruction. Uh, then uh, we have uh, Warbinger. Or Bringer. Or Bringer. They are banned from California, formed in 2004, I think. Um, uh, I know that the singer John Kevill uh, is is uh, is. Uh, he uh, he's, he's a pretty cool vocalist. Uh, now, actually, Warbringer was part of a thrash metal revival uh, in the mid two thousands. Um, there was a resurgence of thrash that came out of nowhere. Uh, there was a couple of bands that started playing in that eighty style, like Havoc and Municipal Waste, uh, which is a pretty funny uh, thing. But uh, yeah, they were part of a sort of like a like a sort of revival of that whole genre. Uh, there's Toxic Holocaust. There's Evil. There's there's so many bands part of that, um, but uh, yeah, I, I know Warbringer pretty pretty well actually. Uh, I, if you want to listen to a really cool album, check out an album called "Woe to the Vanquished." Uh, really kick-ass stuff. Uh, so if you're into sort of Slayer-esque sort of music, I, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. They also put on a recent album too that was not as great as "Woe to the Vanquished," but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> like. I, I don't know. Har Harbinger? But yeah, it's like unnecessary. Really. Oh, and then, okay. Alleganion. That's a Canadian -E band. -E they have a, they have an album called... Uh, now, a lot of these might be named... Proponent to Sentience, I think. Uh, there, there's um, a lot of weird words are they from that Quebec? I don't understand. I was wondering if they're trying to cross like the word alligator with something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alleganion. Now, here's a, here's a clever one. Misery Index. That is funny they bring this up because uh, Misery Index has former bandmates from Dying Fetus, in fact. So it's a small world, I guess. Um, <laughs> I think I think it was the bass player from Dying Fetus that left in the early 2000s. Uh, now, if you wonder what Misery Index means, it, it's this is a very like political band. Uh, I, I don't think that a lot of their their focuses on like gore and zombies and death and stuff like that it's more more about like the the, the political society crap uh I, I think it's like an like a indicator how i mean the title of, of the band means like the unemployment rate uh to the the inflation rate or something it's 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 very like above my head but uh yeah i, I don't know <laughs> Do you so have it's it's not like on an index, how much are you in the pain from boiling in lava? What the misery index is rich. Oh no! Is that a is a thing? It's a it's a it's a financial term. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a term in like stock market and like <laughs> finance. To yeah, mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The 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 rate in which people are struggling like financially. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm not exactly sure, but I know that it's. Like you didn't the think we were talking about this on stream today, would down. you? And it's 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 related to that, but it's. It breaches that clever boundary. No, that's that's a politically minded death metal path. Okay, yeah, they, they are. They Raven. Are, yeah. Okay, Raven. Raven. I didn't even know they were touring. This band is from like the mid seventies. Uh, like these guys are part of the new wave of British heavy metal, and I, I don't need to tell you who Iron Maiden, Motorhead, and Judas Priest are. Uh, but they were part of that. They were part of that. They they've been at it for a long time. You know, they've been they they've been. I think it's like the mid-70s, uh, but they, they have a lot of fun songs. They have a lot of fun songs. 
Uh, they have a song called I Don't Need Your Money, Honey. <laughs> uh, but the, the, these guys go really, really far back. The, 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 this is not the wrestler from the mid-90s from WCW. No, 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 no. But these, these guys are old. See, I, I, I would say, like, and I, I, have, I have 12 pages here to go through, but, but right now I would say the least creative name would mean the least creative music in well, the band. Well, to get, to, well the they, they were very early, so I think they, they, have, uh, they, possibly can. they so have a right to really call it know, that. But a band called, you know? like, we, we got together <laughs> and we said our band is called Raven. They're from 1974, say, yes. Let's yes. come up with a better band name. Metal, I know they're, they're I, th I think they're trying to avoid cringe, but I think hmm. good heavy metal is supposed to be over the top. And fun. Okay, okay. And fun. Yeah, you need to, you need to, you need, you need to do a bit better than Raven. So you like bands like Anal <laughs> <laughs> Gate Creeper. I, I want to mention that band real quick. Um, they wrote some of the most offensive songs on the planet. But I want to highly recommend because that 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 entire band was like a big shit posty troll. Uh, I I think they started blurring because uh, the singer eventually got addicted to heroin and like the, the comedy got sucked out of it. But but in the mid nineties, uh, they they were known as the most edgy band on the planet. But then they released a album called Picnic of Love. Uh, God, I, I don't even know if I can sh crop it right. Uh, I'm just gonna play you a, a song from said band, from Picnic of Love. I'm gonna read you these titles. Picnic of Love, I respect your feelings as a woman and a friend. I wanna grow old with you, saving ourselves for marriage. Greed is something we don't need. I'm not that kind of boy. I couldn't afford you buy a present, so I wrote you this song. I'd love to have your daughter's hand in marriage. My woman, my lover, my friend. Waterfall wishes. In my heart, there's a storm named after you. And uh, I'm gonna play you a song, so you know how lovely this is. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know. You know, you, you get the point. So they were they were taking the piss out of their own fans for expecting even more crazy stuff. So uh, you know, but but a lot of a lot of that band <clears throat> is uh, <laughs> the worst ever. So uh, you know, uh, caution. A little play on Gatekeeper. I'm thinking about it. I'm mulling it over. I think that's okay. a death metal band. Okay. From now Phoenix. These next ones suck. Dark Angel. Rev no, no, they don't suck. Dark Angel is great, okay? Because uh, one of the greatest metal drummers on the planet, Gene Hoagland, played in it. And Gene Hoagland, uh, Small World, by the way, is the drummer for Death Clock. He, he plays all the parts for Pickles. So, uh, you know, that's... <laughs> uh, but Gene Hoagland is a fantastic drummer. If you want to see some really, really fantastic fills and some real stamina behind it, look up uh, Gene Hoagland on YouTube. And you can find plenty of like DVDs and stuff. They're really funny, dude, too. So uh, you know, but uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of Dark Angel. But hey, it's all a matter of subjectivity here. Revenge. Oh, Revenge. Revenge is interesting because they play a blackened form of death metal. They really mix it into one genre called uh, war metal. And war metal has a bunch of bands in it. Uh, I think Arch Goat and Blasphemy kind of created this genre. But Revenge is interesting. Because uh, if you guys ever listen to uh, Death Grips, there we go. So uh, MC Riot is a big fan of that band. So here we go. Vended. Wait, wait, wait. Vended is interesting because Vended is a band with the uh, son of Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Um, I have never listened to it, but I know them, so, uh, it's sort of a generational, like, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I think, um, I think it's Corey Taylor from Slipknot, and it's his son playing in it, so, uh, yeah, there wait, we wait, go. Wait, 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 where do these names separate? 
Oh, there are three different names. There's dark, three, okay. So, okay. Dark Angel. <laughs> Revenge. Mm. No, that's boring. That's boring. And Vended, which to me I'm sounds sorry for like pausing someone the video has so just much. got a bag of chips. <laughs> I mean, that's Vended? <laughs> you have been Vended. You have received your super pretzel and beer at the Chicago. Do you want me to just stop pausing in the video and just watch it? Because I feel like I, I paused too much, and this is getting too long now, and I, I'm sure you guys are not entertained by my stupid, stupid encyclopedic knowledge of this stuff. Chicago Cubs game. Maybe, maybe that's the, you've been vended, it's like what happens when I'll you hit stop, like I'll the stop A2, pausing, I'll and stop then your pausing. chips fall, but not all the way. You've been vended! I hate those vending machines. So. <laughs> it's the, most, the most brutal metal band. Blood Incantation. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of guys are popping for this because uh, Blood Incantation is a very popular band. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep pausing for a couple moments here, but Blood Incantation is a relatively new band, uh, and they play very interesting form of death metal. They, they incorporate a lot of progressive elements and, like, sort of ambient stuff. In fact, they put on an album that's, like, a space ambience album. There's no guitars or anything on it. It's just this space stuff so they they clearly do whatever they want and they write about aliens and like the, the history of mankind you know uh it's very interesting but they're they play a, a form of death metal that's very like mystical and atmospheric if you like that sort of stuff uh check out a finnish band called Demilich, uh and check out a canadian band called gorguts uh, they play a very similar sort of style you know but I'm sure you guys know who Blood Incantation is. It's a very, very, pretty good band. Pretty good band. I like them. Yeah. Body Snatcher. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of Body Snatcher, actually. My, man, my, my metal cred is going down the toilet. Yeah. The Halo Effect. I think they are a band from Sweden and Gothenburg. Uh, I think the former bandmates of In Flames and, like... Uh, <sighs> Dark Tranquility made this band. Uh, yes, so it's an offshoot from an older band that they made their own stuff. Uh, I, I, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. Yeah. Jungle Rot. Jungle Rot is from Wisconsin, actually. Um, and they're an older band, too. 91. So a lot of these bands are older. I mean, Blood Incantation is newer, but, but they're a pretty good band, too. A Rose Funeral. I don't know that band. <laughs> Poor Betty White. Macabre. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, let me tell you about this band. Macabre is a Chicago band from 1985, and they put on a lot of crazy stuff. I was mentioning serial killers before. They, funnily enough, made a concept album about Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, I have to show you this. <laughs> Do you want to hear this album? Here's a song from the uh, the album Dahmer from 2000. It's a concept album, Adam, and this is a song called Jeffrey Dahmer and the Chocolate Factory. You get it. So that's Dahmer. Uh, which is funny because Jeffrey Dahmer is from the same place as Red Letter Media. So they 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 probably get a kick out of that. They probably get a kick out of that. I don't know. Although half of their fans would pronounce it macabre. <laughs> Dead to fall. Uh, I think they are a metalcore band. I don't quote me on that. Dead to T O fall. Not fall to death. Dead to fall. Uh, so two, two, two O's. No, no, one O. One O, okay, As okay. In transitory. Dead to fall. I don't know that band so well. I mean, I guess they want to specify that, like, they didn't just trip, they fell over because they died. <laughs> For sure. Uh, M R S A. I think they're a crossover thrash band. Uh, clearly, that stands for something. It's an acronym. What is it? What is it? M R S A. Is that a disease? Mer MRSA. I, I th yes. I think it's yes. A yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this 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 band is a catchy name. Angelus Epitrida. That is a Spanish thrash metal band. 
And the, I want to say they're part of that uh, new resurgence of thrash metal that happened in the mid 2000s, but they put out a couple of really cool, really cool albums. Uh, if you're wondering what it means, it, it means like fallen angels. S somebody, somebody chat says Spain mentioned, Spain mentioned, you know. <laughs> Like angel hole, like angel aperture. What is? Apatrita, angel. No, it's it. No, 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 no. It's not Spanish. It's Latin, actually. I just know that this band uh, is from Spain, and my my español is caca. So you know, but I do know that many many years ago, many many years ago, I, I listened to this stuff. I'm like, what does that mean? It's, a, it's such a weird title. But I, I I might be wrong about the title. It might not mean uh, like fallen angels, but I, I think so. I think so. It's Apatrita. I'm gonna say I think Angel Hole would be a half yeah, decent yeah. metal Maybe name. Yeah, maybe they're trying a fancy way of saying like a hole in an angel, like they they shot <laughs> yeah. it with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Deeds of flesh. Okay, I know this band. I know this band. They're from I think California, but they play brutal death metal, which is even a heavier form of death metal. Uh, so that might, definitely might not be everybody's cup of tea. But uh, my favorite album of theirs is called Reduced to, to Ash, I think the album is called. I haven't listened to them enough to really say that I really like them or not. But sometimes, sometimes you just want to listen to some really gory metal, and I, I think that'll, that'll satisfy the urge. Yeah, that, I'm That's okay kind of cool. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. We're deeds of flesh. <laughs> We're from Sweden. Yeah. No, 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 California. But yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Fucking 50% off purchases on Ikea! <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what, this one goes out to Mike. Mike has a great voice for death metal, and you know what, you know what, there is something that I think would... I mean, I know this isn't Mike's cup of tea, but uh, here's what I'm gonna recommend for Mike, because he's got sick vocals. Because uh, I know he likes uh, death metal, well, I mean, I mean, Star Trek. There is a band that plays Klingon death metal. They're called Stovokor, right? They're from Portland, Oregon. And all of their songs is written in Klingon or Klingonese, if you go by the old uh, outdated terminology. But uh, <laughs> they have... <laughs> I think they played a bunch of shows at Star Trek conventions. Uh, I'll give you a better, better look at these guys. But uh, here's a band. Yeah, here they are. Yes, that's Stovacore. So if you enjoy the sound of uh, Kapla metal, go ahead. Why not? Star Trek metal. Uh, I think Mike should listen to Stovacore. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike, you're doing it wrong. I can understand what you're saying. Mm. <laughs> I don't think there's a career for, for Rich, though. No honor. Imperial Triumphant. I th think I know this band. I think I think I know this band. Uh, aren't they from, like, New York, and they play, like, experimental, proggy stuff? Like, they play kind of jazzy stuff. I think they have an album called Spirit of Ecstasy. I, I, I checked it out a while ago. It might not be my cup of tea, but uh, name three songs. Well, at least I knew maybe their album. I might have confused that, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Also, Joel doesn't know four metal bands so far. <laughs> no. Why not? After uh, Broken Hope. Sorry. Broken Hope is interesting because Broken Hope, everybody, uh, they're from Illinois and they were formed in late 80s. But here's an inter interesting uh, little bit of trivia. They were the first death metal band that recorded an album completely digitally. 
Uh, like everything before that was like, uh, you know, eight track analog, but they were the first band in the world to like do it all digitally in, in a digital audio workstation, you know. Uh, so they they broke some sort of record there, uh, but <laughs> I don't know. But uh, check out check out an album called Swamped in Gore from <laughs> Broken Hope. I mean, if you want to talk really guttural death metal, uh, the, let's see if I can find this real real quick. Yeah, here we go, Swamped in Gore, and uh, here is a uh, the, the title track Swamped in Gore. And if you want to talk low guttural vocals, this sound this guy sounds because he's throwing up his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> love it love it broken hope yeah I mean, it's kind of boring aftermath malign that's a thrash metal band from the same state i think older band too ice of tomorrow from mid 90s i think uh i think i'm right nancy oh oh what no 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 i was i was talking about aftermath uh Malignancy, I think, is all they're a death metal band and they are also from Yonkers. A lot of bands are from Yonkers in, in New York, by the way. I guess if you're gonna play crazy music, you come from Yonkers because it's bonkers. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Fuming Mouth. Never heard of this band. <laughs> Never heard of this mouth. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Fuming Mouth. <laughs> Which, which reminds me, Mike, I'm so sorry. I forgot to brush my teeth this morning. You know, you, you know, there, there's a band called Death Breath. <laughs> is that, is that uh, Rich's favorite band? This morning. <laughs> uh, Pissing Razors. Grew metal band from Texas. I know that. <laughs> Sounds like Pantera. <laughs> and if you don't know who Pantera is, is if you don't know what Pantera is, if there's any hockey fans right now, I want to remind you that the Dallas Stars, the hockey team, their, their like goal music is written by Pantera. Uh, story about that. Vinnie Paul, uh, who passed away a couple years ago, he basically contacted the, the Dallas Stars and was like, hey, here's a CD of music we wrote for you. You might enjoy it, you might not. He gave the CD to uh, like one of the dudes and they played it in the locker room like, this is great. And in that night, uh, they scored against whoever they played against. And ever since then, they, they use it. So it goes, Dallas, stars, Dallas, star. Pantera was also uh, uh, on the SpongeBob SquarePants show. And they were also featured in this Sonic 2 movie when Dr. Robotnik is walking around the robot. The, the death egg robot they started playing pantera so pantera has got a lot of mainstream weirdness i guess um but yeah that's 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 a little weird trivia for you real disease related band no that have been that have been so much more hardcore if they said razor blades because now i'm and I'm doom uh, doom used to like a bunch of pantera songs too razors <laughs> which which is funnier but it's not as hardcore <laughs> You just shoot them out. <laughs> pissing ra razor blade would be more difficult to get out of your urethra. I, I think pissing razor is a reference to uh, like having a bladder stone, whatever you call it. I, I think kidney stone, point, kidney yes. stone. Uh, but pissing razor is just a simpler name. Yeah. Death by Wednesday. I think they're an old heavy metal band, aren't they? Or they might be a metalcore band. They sound like it. I'm sorry. Dead by Wednesday. Adam's family rocks! <laughs> but which Wednesday? Wednesday Adams! No, which it could be any Wednesday in the future. Somebody asked, you asking us? <laughs> unless you died on a Wednesday, everyone's dead by Wednesday. I guess. Thrown into exile. That's a metalcore band Ingram. from LA. I don't know that band. Though. Now that makes me think of Toenails. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that band. I don't know that. But I guess the death metal. Don't know that band, but I think that is a reference to a Cryptopsy. Cryptopsy is a Canadian band, and on the 94 album None So Vile, there's a song called that. So they might be uh, making a reference to that. And it's it's <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the term is someone who is like turned on by fear. So if you like spooky games and you have like a flashlight attached, go on. Why not? Knock yourself out. What's a phobophile? Well, he's afraid of fear? Nope. Phobos is is No wait, no, love of fear. Fear love. 
love of yes. what's a phobophilic J? <laughs> Jay, Jay would know. Jay would know. Metal compilation. The Greek god of fear and panic. Okay. So okay. Afraid of fear? A fear no, of fear? No, Phila is love. Oh, Phila. Somebody in the chat says, Joel doesn't remember what he ate yesterday, but he remembers a bunch of full discography of a band that was formed 40 years ago and has two active fans. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them. Phila is love. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 that's right. That's right. So it's fear lover. Okay. Okay. So they probably have some good songs. <laughs> uh, they've put some thought into that name. It's a little bit clever. Um, Mike Weber. M-I-C-A-W-B-E-R. I don't know this band. They sound like they're death metal. Mike Weber. Impaler. Impaler. Nice and simple. <laughs> Impaler is from, from Minnesota. And they're not metal at all, I think. They're part of that like Alice Cooper kiss thing. They like like that shock rock rock thing. Uh, they're an old band, like late seventies, I think. Yeah. Uh, but they they the whole do the whole Dracula shtick. I I think uh, there might be a I think there's a thrash metal band too called Impaler. Uh, in, in fact, uh, here's a little trivia for you. Uh, did you know that Kirk Hammett's band before Metallica was Exodus? And on uh, an early demo on Exodus, there's a song called Impaler, and that riff was later recycled into Metallica on an album called uh, Trapped, uh, on, on a song called Trapped Under Ice. So uh, there's a little bit of trivia for you. So recycled riffs, why not? <laughs> and, and here's a real great one, Casket Robbery. Uh, that's Brutal Death Metal from Wisconsin. <laughs> a funeral home band. director's worst nightmare. <laughs> Come true in band form. You're you're supposed to rob the grave because then actually, you get yeah. the valuables that are on the corpse. You don't you don't take the casket before they put the corpse in. Cat. That's not how that works. Let's actually, I think I may be wrong. Uh, somebody in chat is correcting me, saying, "Don't you mean the creeping death breakdown riff?" Uh, let's let's compare these two. Impaler was re-recorded on uh, Temple of the Damned. I'm gonna hear they. This is a 2004 album. That is a re-recording of a demo. Let's see if you notice the, the similarity. Do you notice that? And then... I was right! I was right! I was right, maybe. Maybe I was. And caskets can be expensive. <laughs> so they take the casket, they dump out the body and all the contents. <laughs> And they resell the caskets. Somebody said, Joel, they're going to quiz us on this on the end of the video. <laughs> Maybe. At an underground funeral home. Just a funeral home using the same casket over and over again. God damn it, Mike. Yeah. You're on to something. That's a good idea, huh? That, that's a scam. Yeah. That's a quality scam. Okay. I, 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 let me just tell you something funny. I'm going to tell you something. that I, I was one, We were once accused of a plagiarism in Scythe Lord. Uh, you have this riff. <laughs> Bloodshed at Dawn. And the, the, the problem with that is, you write a great riff, and you're like, did anybody else write that? Mm, probably not. And then you realize, oh my god, fuck it. So, uh, but, you know, uh, it's just in your brain. So, <laughs> I don't know. Scam. They're, they're there when the body gets buried, and then they just, like, Exhum it and dump it out and reuse the casket because those things it's five ten grand plus That's that's right up there with that wasn't there a, a crematorium where they just didn't bother That's another band actually yeah. yes. That's actually another band swamp. from Sweden <laughs> I think they, they, but they still charge people for the cremation. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of shady characters out there rich uh, Gates to hell don't know that band Gates McFadden. <laughs> <laughs> Her in a Swedish death metal band would be pretty cool. Um, okay, well, next one is called Violence. Okay, let me tell you about Violence for a second. Okay, I was talking about the birth of thrash metal. Uh, in 1985, these guys formed in the same San Francisco Bay Area with Exodus and Metallica and stuff like that. I think Death Angel, not confused with Dark Angel, uh, came from the same scene. Uh, but uh, later, they mentioned a band earlier called Machine Head, and the guitarist from Violence later created Machine Head. Uh, but uh, Violence is a is, is a really cool cool band. Uh, the 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 singer is out of control, um, and the lyrics is fantastic. There, there's a song called. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I know that the the style of the singer is very much more punk rather than thrash metal, 
but there's there's a lyric on here that makes me laugh every time. What, what kind of maniac writes this? I cursed the devil, then I watched him die. I cursed the devil, then watched him die! What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> V-I-O with a hyphen. Lens. Oh. But I will say this about violence. I, I really like violence a lot. Uh, I think they actually reformed, but they've reformed a couple of times. Um, there's another b band called Testament, which is not a Christian metal band, by the way. There's actually a Simpsons gag uh, where they talk about Testament, and it is not about that. They were making a joke about a Christian band, but they, they, Testament is not a Christian band. But a Testament, the, the singer Chuck Billy had cancer in the early 2000s, and they organized an event um, called Thrash, not the Thrash of the Titans, uh, it, that, that was a different thing, I think. No, no, the, I'm thinking of um, the big four that actually had Alice and Chains on that set list, whatever. But I think in 2001, uh, Chuck Billy um, got cancer. So all these old 80s thrash metal bands got together for a benefit concert uh, for Chuck Billy. Violence was part of it, bunch of bands. And uh, they made enough money to uh, to help out Chuck Billy. So today, that reunion concert that they did, you know, it's one of the reasons why Testament can can continue. But uh, yeah, the uh, I like violence a lot. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I, I like them. Uh, I like them. Oh, just missed the mark. I thought it was gonna be vile, V-I-L-E. Vile lens. Yeah. And that would have been fun. That would have been clever. Now give me your take on the next one, Squid Hammer. That's a band from Wisconsin. <laughs> Seems like they have a song called hammer. "Rock the Fuck I'm On." Be honest with you. I'm just hit that with a nail, and it's just gonna slop. It's gonna fly everywhere. No. I'm not hammering a squid. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm thinking using a squid as a hammer. It's one word, Mike. It's a proper it, word. It what is that song about? I guess "Rock okay, the Fuck so, On." So that was the lineup for the Milwaukee Metal Fest. Uh, Where the fuck is Guar? Guar, oh. but that's totally, totally wrong genre. No, it's not. Guar has played a ton of genres. Guar has, I mean, Guar is just a funny band. Uh, if you don't know what Guar is, uh, Guar is a band that half of the fun is just seeing the concert themselves because, like, they spray the 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 audience with like fake cum and blood, and they have like like actors, like fake impersonator of actors being killed on stage. And they're, they're just a comedy band. They're just, you know, someone said, quote unquote, fake. Yeah. But Gwar's just a bunch of fun. Um, but they, they played a lot of genres. They played punk and thrash metal and stuff like that. Uh, and the guy on the left you see here uh, is Davey, Dave Brocky, what's his name? Yes. And he passed away, I think, like about nine years ago or whatever. But uh, they have actually, because everybody on stage wears outfits. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Gore. It's not the. Uh, this is the. This used to be the lineup, but uh, yeah, this is this was Gore. Um, and as you can see, they're just they're just f funny. You know, they they write songs about uh, like this is a song called Lixor, and it's about a grandma dying and the kitty cats eating her up. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they they wrote a song about like a a giant crack egg <laughs> once like you know so, so Guar is just a funny band you know how I know about Guar uh, uh, tell me Rich they were on the Jerry Springer show ah <laughs> uh, ah uh. <laughs> which is funny because Guar I've seen this clip uh, somebody in the audience asks like, how can you live yourself writing these these awful lyrics and, you know, uh, Dave Brocky here goes, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. And the audience laughs and I think that clicks and like, okay, they're not being serious at all. So look that clip up. <laughs> Do you guys remember Lordy? Lordy, the Finnish band that won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2006. Lordy was uh, accused of plagiarizing Gwar. Uh, but, you know, using, co you know, costumes and all that fun stuff in heavy metal, that's nothing new. What? I don't know. <laughs> now we're into additional names. Cause that, so that was the whole lineup for the Milwaukee Metal Fest that went I'm over sorry, three I'm, days. I've been so pausing and I'm, I've been dragging this out. I'm, I apologize okay, for that. Okay, okay. Um, uh, and, and these are names that I've pulled out of lists of hundreds of thousands. Okay. Um, 
Abated Mass of Flesh. That's a brutal death metal man from Tennessee. I, I play in the band called Abated Mass of Flesh. It's got a catchy ring to it. Abscess. That is a band with uh, one of the originators of death metal, uh, the band Death. People claim that, you know, Possessed invented death metal or Death did. Death, um, the drummer from Death on the first album, Scream Bloody Gore, Chris Reifert uh, later created Autopsy. And Autopsy has is, is a wonderful album called Severed Survival, which is a song about a guy that goes to an island and is deserted, so he has to eat himself to survive, <laughs> which is hysterical. But uh, yes, but yeah, he he played an Autopsy too, and I think Abscess was an offshoot of Autopsy. Anvil of Doom. Don't know that fan. <laughs> no, you know what? That one's so generic. It's fun. Uh, <laughs> This is all one word, ass suck. That's a grindcore band from Florida, <laughs> and it has members of Mystery Index, in fact. <laughs> UCK. Um, behold, dot, 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 the, the Arctopus. Arctopus. <laughs> okay, Behold the Arctopus is one of the funniest bands you will ever see. I'm gonna play you a clip of Behold the Arctopus. I, I, I think these guys were just joking around. But they're very talented musicians, but they were in a magazine of of Guitar World, I think, and they play incredibly like proggy sort of instrumental, uh, like shreddy death metal. The problem is they got the absolute worst presentation of all time. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this clip online, but it's one of the funniest things you will ever see because they come across as the biggest nerds on the planet. Hi, I'm Colin. And I'm Mike. We're from Behold the Octopus, and we're going to play... Alcoholocaust from nanonucleonic cyborg summoning. Okay, at, at that point, it's like, okay, what? One, two, three, four. You have to hear this like sustained note from the guitarist. It's it it's wonderful. See, the problem is, when you listen to this with drums, it makes sense. But they just have the worst amps in this clip. Oh <laughs> god, it's so atonal and chromatic. Here comes one, two, three, four. And this goes on for about 40 minutes. It sounds like Shreddy Primus, doesn't it? But they were just given a really bad, bad video. Here's what the song actually sounds like. So they're talented musicians, but yeah, uh, very nerdy, very nerdy, very, very nerdy. <laughs> I think you're from New York, actually. Not, there's not an exclamation point, which it's just disappointing. <laughs> They put dots in there? Yeah, there's, there's an ellipses. Behold, the octopus! The octopus. <laughs> <laughs> brain drill. Okay, uh, brain drill. If you want to talk about, like, shredding for no reason, brain drill was accused, like, in, in the mid-2000s, like, this is really soulless music, because it's... It's nothing but sh shred solos and, like, sweet picking and blast beats, and it's just... Like who cares? Who cares? But I kind of like their their they they've disbanded since then. Um, but they have a album called Boundless Ob Ob Obscenity, which I like. But a lot of Brain Drill's music is just it's it's too much even for me. I I'll give you an example. Like it's just uh, it's just a bunch of this. It's just like Flight Flight of the Bumblebee, except with growls, you know. But I, I appreciate a band saying, fuck it, let's make the most complex music ever, and, you know, but, but Brain Deal's okay. Are they in Milwaukee? Are they, I mean, they weren't at the Milwaukee Metal Fest, but are they in Milwaukee? Uh, I, That's a I Jeffrey Dahmer thing. That's really funny. Brain Drill is from... The next one is called Cannibal Corpse. Uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 okay, okay. Cannibal Corpse, everybody knows Cannibal Corpse. Like, your grandma knows about Cannibal Corpse. You know why? Because they were in Ace Ventura. Uh, everybody knows about Cannibal Corpse. They're from Buffalo, New York. And all I can say is, uh, yeah, everybody knows Cannibal Corpse, you know. Uh, but I'll say this. If you think these guys are like psychopaths, th th they're not. 
I I'm going to show you. Uh, do you guys want to see the clip from Ace Ventura? Ace Ventura Cannibal Corpse. Uh, here we go. Actually, Jim Carrey is a big fan of Cannibal Corpse, in fact. Uh, I don't know how much he listens to Cannibal Corpse nowadays, but but at one point he was uh, he was on a talk show and he was talking about oh I love death metal you know I love thrash and death metal. It's actually a pretty funny clip. Um, I'm sorry I've talked so much about this, but uh, here we go. That's Chris Barnes, the singer. Fun fact, a little anecdotal thing. Uh, Chris Barnes is the original singer of Cannibal Corpse. Uh, uh, George Fisher took over in the mid '90s. Uh, after him, but uh, I'll tell you a funny story. One of the mods in chat had a beef with Chris Barnes. Uh, basically, <laughs> Chris Barnes uh, nowadays is, is in a band called Six Feet Under, and uh, they made a bunch of TNT ACDC covers, and it, it sounds awful. Uh, and Anthro had a Twitter beef with him, where Chris Barnes went out and saying, if you guys were born after this date and you weren't around for the original death metal scene, go fuck yourself. And then Anthro responded with, funny coming from the guy who made, like, 16 ACDC albums that sound like shit. And, uh, Anthro was unblocked, and Chris Barnes had a angry fit all day on Twitter and started blocking people, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this got really sidetracked. Uh, let's keep watching. Might be one of the most We're almost famous done with the video. Uh, black metal, heavy metal, death metal bands, Cannibal Corpse. And Jay, I wanted to mention something. You had posted that clip of the Actors Roundtable with Jeff Bridges and uh, Evan Peters was talking about Dahmer and how he prepared for the role and all this stuff. And um, I had so, it's, it's, it's interesting because I had some Dahmer stuff to bring up. Which I the, mentioned with uh, Macabre. Rave Check out that uh, Jeffrey Club Dahmer album. I know it's the too. street from the Ambassador Hotel, where Jeffrey Dahmer... You know, I just noticed something in this video, right is, here. And uh, Evan Peters was talking about Dahmer and how he prepared for the role and all this stuff. And um, I had some... Right. It's, it's, it's interesting because I had some Dahmer stuff to bring up. Here. The, There's a band here playing called Necrogoblicon. And Necrogoblicon is this band. I, I'm just going to show you a picture of them. Okay. So this, this 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 is a band <laughs> that plays <laughs> goblin music. Uh, <laughs> if anything, I think Jay would get a kick out of this. But uh, yeah, that, that's funny. We're talking about metal, and uh, you know these guys come up. So why not? Why not? <laughs> uh, Rave Eagles Club is across the street from the Ambassador Hotel. Mm. Where Jeffrey Dahmer committed his very first. Didn't these murder. guys like yeah. play with and war Jay, too? I think they're, they're in the same sort of a review of osmosis Dahmer of fun on stuff. Netflix, and it was called what was it called? Dahmer. It had some awkward title. It was like Dahmer colon uh, monster. monster dash <laughs> something. I didn't. But I didn't see the show. I, I, by I the way, I didn't think of this when we filmed that, but I thought of it I didn't later. See the show. And I thought of a better title for the Dahmer miniseries. Nobody loves me. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. Do you get it? I get it. I he get understands it. the funny. He didn't want anyone to leave him. He wanted the corpses that would stay around. I get it. Nobody mm. loves me. He couldn't use that because it was already trademarked by death metal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. We'll, we'll find, find out. out. <laughs> uh, Disembowelment. Australian death doom band. Devourment. That is an American death metal band from Devour. Dallas, Texas. Mint, okay. The act I, they I have an album called Unleash the, the Carnivore. Style of singing, devolvement. <laughs> Disharmonic <laughs> Orchestra. They are from Australia, I think. Orchestra. I think cute. they play That's like. cute is what that is. And I don't, I don't know, think they I play. Death metal should be cute I think they play symphonic death metal. I, I think. Yeah. General surgery. Swedish band. Swedish band. <laughs> Swedish like band. Uh, they. They try to emulate a lot of what Carcass did. And as a side note, by the way, uh, I uh, was mentioning um, hard work a lot earlier. And essentially, um, there's a little funny clip regarding this. Uh, because the F0X soundtrack uses a lot of metal inspiration, obviously, because it's a very heavy metal kind of game. 
but they they stole a riff they stole a riff check this out Uh, there's an even funnier version of this uh, plagiarizing stuff because you know somebody mentioned that Black Sabbath invented everything and everything's just recycled, inverted or slowed down or faster or whatever. But my favorite thing uh, is Mario Land. This is one of my favorite videos of all time, and it's uh, Super Mario Land. And it turns out we did some extensive research on this a couple of streams ago, and it turns out that. Iced Earth ripped off the Game Boy Game Boy game known as Super Mario Land. I mean, I'm talking note for note. Unless this is some sort of song that I, I'm unfamiliar with. I mean, it goes beyond... And then this, this part... But what do I know? Surgery, it doesn't matter. Or it's a general. Sorry, I got sidetracked again. And he's like a psychopath. <laughs> general <laughs> surgery. Maybe their album. It's been a very, very boring like a, video like for me. I, 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 I think this video is hysterical, like, but it's been very kind of boring face. for me. Da it's gonna be because I, I say nothing gonna, of value. I'm just like, hey, here's this bad. Here's that bad. Call it you right know. now on stage. Side tricked. But a soldier's helmet. Okay. Okay, I like it. I, I think you're too creative. I think they're just gonna wear black t-shirts. <laughs> Glass Casket. Uh, don't know that band. Rod and Christ. Uh, Rod Christ they is from they Greece. Metal. They're black well, I'm metal. I'm gonna go call that. I'm gonna make that judgment. Fun, fun fact, fun fact, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but Dave Mustaine is a born again Christian and uh, he was playing a metal show and Rod and Christ was on that billing, and he basically said, that band cannot play with us. No. No. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Rotting Christ. I think that means, like, Christ did not rise from yeah. the dead. It's, he's just a corpse. Gore, gore fest. That gore is a, Lord. there's a gore band from rotted. Nairland. Gore Rotted is, is from like a, Britain. Like a, a trilogy. The trilogy. I, I hit the G's. Did gore fest, like, break up, split apart? They, they started two other bands? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, there's Gore Guts. Oh, that's from. <laughs> I've been in Gore Guts before. They're they're from Canada, Lister. Quebec. Ouch. They're an Italian band, I think. <laughs> Mortuary Drape. That's an old Italian <laughs> band. They really play the black and death metal. I know that. Ghost Brigade. Finnish melodic oh, death metal that band. Your favorite, Mike? That's kind of my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, here's another one. With Zach Bagpipes. <laughs> 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 is that his band name? Yeah. His, his alter ego is Zach Bagpipes in the Ghost Brigade. Uh, I'm just going to show you this because this is You're a. You're just going to show me this. Well, so you can read it. Okay. The, um, and we're going to put the text on the screen. <laughs> okay. But this okay. one also has an ellipses. Number 19. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> can you. Uh, a lot of these bands are from like the 90s. I think that's like kind of was black like, metal, like I think. Thing. Yeah. So I'm wondering like if, if bands that are formed or forming in the, in the age of the internet are using the Google. Damn it. <laughs> mm. All the good ones are taken. Check mortuary table. We have to go with gore guts. <laughs> All of the good ones have been taken. Gutworm. English band. Cancer. Uh, English band too. Gorgoroth. That, uh, black metal band. Black metal band, black metal like band. A creature from a movie. I like. It. There, there's a hilarious clip of the Gaul, which is the singer for Gorgoroth, um, and this is one of the funniest, <laughs> funniest interviews I've ever seen, because the the interviewer is asking him, "Hey, what's your like inspiration for like creating all this dark music and you know, all the themes and stuff?" And Gaul is sitting there with a glass of wine, like Dracula. 
and I'll show you a clip of this. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I'm mean, talking about well, taking yourself start, seriously. You telling us what is the, 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 the primary ideology or primary ideas that fuel Gorgoroth, Gorgoroth's music? Sit on it, think about it, think about the words. Uh, stroke the wine. Uh. Satan. Satan. <laughs> 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 Okay. I mean, I was gonna say that sounds like a, a Lord of the Rings creature. It is. It is. It is uh, a mountainous area in Morgoth in Lord of the Rings. A lot of black metal dudes were influenced by Lord of the Rings and Tolkien's writing. It has a Gorgon from myth mythical stuff like cattle decapitation. American <laughs> death metal man from California. That's a, a little UFO. I, I will say this: cattle decapitation is a really crazy singer because he like. I don't think he invented this style, but cattle decapitation, the, the singer puts his, like, tongue in the side of his cheek. And when he's singing, he sounds like a complete fucking goblin. Um, hang on, if I can find the song. Uh, uh, do you guys know what I'm talking about? See if I can find this. It's it's really like interesting, but like what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said it. Christ, what a racket! Whole thing going on there, maybe. I'm assuming there was already a cattle mutilation. What's well, not on my list? Let me look. It's not. This next one, highly uncreative. Yeah. Cemetery. Swedish band. Just that? That's classic it. Swedish Just death that. metal band. The next one, highly creative. And I don't know anything about this band. Oh. And I really want to look it up because they could have a little twist of humor to them. And if they don't, it's even better. Okay. The County Medical Examiners. They are a carcass clone. I showed, them, <laughs> I showed you guys carcass early, but they're more like early carcass. And these guys death refused breath. to do live shows. Oh, Death Breath! Once Holy again, fuck, I'm... I was mentioning fucking uh, Rich's Death Breath earlier. Okay, Death Breath is also a Swedish death metal band. Uh, in fact, here's a little interesting uh, trivia for you. Uh, so, Death Breath is sort of like a one-off project where they play in an intentional retro style, right? And uh, here's a very interesting sort of connection with all these things. So, uh, Nicky Andersson... Uh, he used to play in one of the original Swedish death metal bands, uh, Entombed. He plays in the Helicopters now, which is not a metal band. But there's a really fun clip from the Helicopters, which is a really funny title. But uh, I'm sure you've seen this as an old clip on YouTube. But uh, here you go. Uh, the Helicopters drummer is playing on a ice drum kit. A drum kit entirely made in ice. You get the points, Phil. Sorry, I did not brush my teeth this Sorry. morning, Mike. Death Organ. Uh, I Death don't know about that band, too. Mm. Or, or David Carradine. <laughs> <laughs> decrepit Birth. I want to talk about this band real quick. I know Decrepit Birth. Now, a lot of punk bands, uh, they will... They will say, like, oh, you know, uh... I I hate uh, I hate society and I wish we could all live on rice and stuff. Let me tell you about decrepit birth real quick. Uh, this is Bill Robinson. This is a this is a death metal band by the way. This is it Bill Robinson? And for twenty years this guy has uh, been homeless. 
intentionally because like he, he hates technology and stuff but for 20 years he's been living off the land and growing his own weed to survive <laughs> this guy's punk as fuck like he 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 doesn't he doesn't want to be part of like the world so he's like eats plants and stuff i i don't know but yeah he goes into the studio and plays death metal you know straight up committed to the bit i guess yes funeral mist swedish black metal band regurgitate swedish Rib band spreader. grindcore Death metal from one word. I like Sweden that. moved to Florida, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It, it paints a nice picture in your head, doesn't it? I, mean, Rib I, I, I think that's an actual thing for like open heart surgery, too. Oh, okay. Like a device. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, mental horror. I think they're a Brazilian band. Like H or W H? Oh, H. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, that's boring. Uh, I like this next one. Molotov Solution. I think they're a. <laughs> Deathcore band from oh, that, that's, Nevada. That's almost a pun. I exactly. think yes. Yeah, yeah. So it, the solution the in the bottle or, or the Molotov cocktail is the solution to yes, the problem. I think they mean it as the Molotov cocktail is the solution to the yes. problem. Yes. <laughs> um, pest. I think they're a black metal band for Finland. Morgion. Septic uh, flesh. Okay. Now, severe <laughs> torture. Calm down. Septic flesh is a Greek death metal band. From Athens, and they play black metal with like orchestra and stuff like that. So that that's your thing, you know. Uh, and severe torture, as Rich is experiencing right now. Uh, <laughs> I think they're from the Netherlands, and they sound a lot like Animal Corpse. You know? Terror Two Thousand. There's a funny story about Terror Two Thousand. They're a Swedish thrash metal band. Uh, but if you're wondering about the the title, I don't think it has nothing to do with the date. Here's something funny. Uh, there's a, also another band with a similar title. They're called Nirvana 2002. Like, what the fuck do you mean, Nirvana 2002? So here's the story of Nirvana 2002. Okay. Uh, they started off as Prophet 2002. And it, th these guys were like formed in 1980-something, right? So they're called Prophet 2000. I don't know what it meant, right? But after being named Prophet 2002, they're like, that's a bad title. Let's change our name to Nirvana. And then I battle, a band from Seattle comes along and it's called Nirvana. And they're like, fuck it. Wait a minute. 2002 really worked. Let's slap that on. Nirvana 2002. I know Nirvana is a Buddhist concept, by the way. I need to put it out, okay? Grave worm. Piss <laughs> Why not? Brave. Why not? Now the next band is called Trap Them, Ex which I think is a reference to a horror movie. Exclamation mark! Is that a Ghostbusters metal band? Trap Them, <laughs> Pig Destroyer. Pig Destroyer. Pig Destroyer is is an interesting band, but they have a fucking weird song. They have a album called Prowler in the Yard. And it has Microsoft Sam narrating a horror story. And it's disturbing as fuck. Uh, let, me, let me play you it. Uh, is it this one? <laughs> no, it's not that one. Is it this one? Front of his pants. No, no, no. <laughs> what in the fuck? <laughs> also known as a farmer. <sighs> Pungent stench. They are an Australian band, and they are as funny as you think the title is. They do a lot of like, like black comedy stuff. Like, they, well, I want to say they're like gore, but they're like, haha. So it's like gamer. Vile. Band. They are a Californian brutal death metal band. I know that they they have an album called Depopulate. Uh, so if that's your jam, maybe maybe I don't know. And I'm sorry to say, I did not save the best for last. Vomitory. I met the drummer from Vomitory, in fact. I was in Linköping in southern Sweden with one of the mods, Pat, and we were outside and the drummer shows up and we're just st standing there having a conversation like, huh? Because, but, but the funny thing, he was so humble about it. We're asking, we're talking a little bit, it's like, it's like uh, talking about bands and whatever and he's like, you know, and we ask him, he got a band or something? You look like a drummer. It's like, yeah, yeah, I got a band. Uh, yeah, we played some stuff. I'm like, 
what are you guys called? I'm, you know, I, I play for a band called Vomitory. I'm like, what the fuck? So, uh, but he presented us like, yeah, we made a couple songs. <laughs> like, it's it crazy. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah. How does one look like a drummer? Big beard, huge, and uh, very humble, I guess. But, uh, yes. Why did you put that one last? Because it was V. <laughs> <laughs> there were no good uh, X, Y, or Z. They got me alphabetical. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I mean, I tried to mix them up a little, but I got kind of lazy. Mm. Wait, it ends in V? There's no, like, zombie apocalypse or... Um, you know, the Zs and the Xs... Zone of, here, zone of hate. Make that band. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Rich, do it. Form a band. F form a band with Mike, yeah. Oh, no, 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 you know what they should do? Rich and Mike forms a band together and they should name it after the, the Romulan zone, the, the neutral zone. I'm saying, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's a concept here to be had because there's Stovacore, the Klingon death metal band. Make it happen. Why not? There you go. Start it up. Go get yourself a guitar and a black T-shirt. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, vomitory. Again, a good compound word. Uh, <laughs> vomit and uh, probably a any kind of tor purgatory. How about, how about vomiteria? Why not? Yes. Like, ca uh, yes, vomiteria. That's not, that has a nice ring to vomiteria. it. Vomiteria. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're mixing cafeteria and vomit. Can I, can I get a career just coming up with death metal band names? Um, <laughs> AI can probably do that now. <laughs> about six months, AI could make this whole video. Uh. Actually, Mike, AI already made this entire video. Mm. I'm at home doing my taxes right now. You're just a <laughs> computer-generated rich. Yeah. And our voices and our thoughts are all <laughs> yeah. generated by an AI. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Mike? Right there. Maybe. I, I killed him. Oh. Good. By, by I, I mean... The AI rich, not the mm. new one. We're taking mm. over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you get the nuke codes? Oh, that, that, yeah, that's that's <laughs> infiltrated. Yeah. When do we launch? Any, any moment we want. Any moment? Yeah. If uh. we can launch nukes at any moment, why are we talking about death metal bands? Oh, <laughs> uh, because the AI input, the input. Well, there's a lot of nuclear death in yeah. death metal go albums. Now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, idiots. You've got <laughs> mail. And there we go. That's that video. Okay, so final thoughts about this. It was just it was just uh Mike and Rich having a little bit of fun with some of the the uh the various random death metal bands and stuff like that. Now, what do I think about this? I think it was just a silly silly video about someone that doesn't necessarily uh exp you know, know this kind of music and just thinking, wow, this is really wacky. So I think it's just uh, it's just a fun video, um, and I think a lot of the bands mentioned in this video, I think you got a lot of big big kick out of you know being mentioned and like oh that's awesome we got some free promotion and I think you know I've, everybody likes Red Letter Media, so it's just it's just a fun video uh, and I <laughs> I think it's I think it's great, uh, I think they I think that's a Def Leppard font which is very funny. Uh, check the comments on the video. Okay, um, sure. Hang on. Uh, Red Letter Media. I had, to, I had to download this so I, I get like the, the best bitrate possible. But here we go. Um, here's a comment from one of them. My dear friends, I do know in fact that the Netherlands is not a Nordic country. I was going to say Norway. But for some reason, Netherlands fell out. Many of the, my bands from the list are from the Netherlands. And it was on my little mind. Please forgive me, Rich Evans. <laughs> Okay, and uh, okay. Well, I think all the all the comments are, are are enthusiastic and just happy. You know, this is a it's a really fun video. This is a really fun video, and I, if anything, my own insight into this. I mean, it, this went on for a very long time, and I I just gave my sort of experience with some of these bands. I I, I didn't know all of them, but you know, hopefully, what I gave you entertained you. But it's a really fun video by Red Letter Media. And, you know, as a death metal enthusiast, this is really fun to see Mike and Rich talk about a subject matter that is, like, 
an extensive bit of knowledge for me at least but yeah that was it was really fun this is really fun um uh <laughs> i was gonna say uh uh zach backpipes but yeah i like red letter media and i i hope i hope they uh they do more of these like least viewed episode uh ever episodes i think i think if anything that could be very fun for red letter media to explore is wrestling uh just the various wrestling gimmicks over the years i'd love to see them take a crack at the yeti or the yeti and of course everybody knows him the shock master so uh you know uh and of course my favorite randy hogan so uh yes but uh, that was a pretty fun video uh i would say if you got a <laughs> if you got any band recommendations or whatever uh yeah sure why not it's a it's an open forum of of this this fun little niche subgenre of music so you know may, maybe maybe mike and rich will check out some of these bands out of curiosity and maybe it'll <laughs> spark some sort of interest but uh yeah why not but uh yeah final thoughts about this uh i think i think my analogies was was, was from before that death metal and black metal, if anything, it's like Star Trek and Star Wars, okay? So, uh, you know, hey, hey, hey. Go listen to metal. You'll probably have a good time. Or if not, hey, at least you checked it out, I suppose. So, <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, uh, that was my sort of <laughs> take on this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so, I said, how do you know much so much about metal? Because uh, I'm a nerd, that's why. All right, anyway. Got more videos coming up. Don't go anywhere.